Hey, y'all. There are books I have read that I have called completely unrealistic, impossible, would never happen. And that is what our election process is turning into. It is just a disaster. So we have Hillary Clinton who has more corruption tied to her than practically anyone I can think of. And she's running for president. And she's possibly ahead it according to the polls. And then we have Donald Trump, a reality TV star, the leading candidate against her. Yay! What's the world coming to, guys? It's embarrassing. But it gets better. So Hillary Clinton was investigated. And they let her off on charges of extreme negligence. Okay, cool. Life's great. You know, the benefit of being Hillary Clinton is that you can do just about anything and get away with it. Pretty handy. Well, she has a slight difficulty at the moment. The FBI is reinstating their investigation and they are now going after her again after new information has been found, new emails on another device, and they happen to come across this in the middle of the investigation against Anthony Weiner, who was getting investigated for sending dick pics to a 15-year-old girl. Yay! What a wonderful world we live in. Well, they happen to find more information, according to the FBI, that they can use in the Hillary Clinton investigation. Now, that's the facts. Now let me give you some things that cross my mind. I am not the smartest fellow in the world, but I do not think for one second that the FBI wanted to open up this case. Okay, uh, not Anthony Weiner. Uh, who's the guy? James Comey, that general FBI investigator. He actually was asked when all this new information was coming out again with WikiLeaks and everything else, dude, are you going to open up this case? And he's like, absolutely not. We definitely do not have enough information, even with all these WikiLeaks things, to do any investigation to, in to open it up again, again. Absolutely not. So this guy desperately does not want to open up the case again, and he's doing it. So there's some questions. Do I all of a sudden think that the FBI just gained a conscience overnight and go, oh, we're going to actually try to try Hillary Clinton this time and maybe we'll get her? I don't. So how is it that they're all of a sudden doing this? Why is it that they're all of a sudden doing it? Why is it that these Anthony Weiner emails all of a sudden have enough substance that they're going to do something about it? Well, I have a couple theories to bounce off of you. Just something to think about. Hillary Clinton threatened Mr. WikiLeaks himself, Julian Assange. Threatened and said she wishes she could drone strike him, wishes we would drone strike the man. I think the gentleman probably took it relatively seriously considering Hillary Clinton is a warmonger who has not seen a war or drone strike she doesn't like or support. He recently, allegedly, I have not been able to prove this yet because I've been working all day, came out saying that he has more information going to tie Hillary Clinton to the FBI, proving even more so that she was in bed with the FBI and she was never threatened with the investigation. Huh. Interesting how that works out. Within 24 hours, the FBI, poof, opens up the investigation. Odd. So why would the FBI do this? Well, are they worried about being investigated themselves? Are they worried about having their investigation be investigated if Mr. WikiLeaks comes out and proves that they were in bed with Hillary Clinton? That's a possibility. That's a real possibility. Maybe that he has more proof, and we've already had this proven. We already know that the lead investigator of the FBI for the Hillary Clinton case, his wife has received millions of dollars from the Clinton Foundation. Woo! Thank you, Mr. WikiLeaks. And apparently, this is not worthy of being all over front page news. In fact, we would much rather talk about these random women that all of a sudden come out of the woodwork against Donald Trump because he is now a rapist and he's now touching all of these women and they couldn't remember it until 30 years later and bam, they come out of the woodwork against the gentleman. That's far more important than WikiLeaks who has a factual track record of never being inaccurate. Okay, cool. 
there is also another theory to think about with this situation. Donald Trump, maybe, 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 he is crushing Hillary Clinton, or he is beating her so badly that these guys are going, holy oh, doody here. If this man's elected, he's going to go after Hillary Clinton. And when they go after Hillary Clinton, they're going to find out that we did a horrible job. And when they find out that we did a horrible job, we quite possibly might go to prison. We might possibly, quite, quite possibly lose our jobs. We might quite possibly lose our careers. We might quite possibly be struggling to make money in order to feed our own families. We might quite possibly be disgraced. That is the other option. So we have Hillary Clinton, who the FBI all of a sudden, out of nowhere, starts investigating again, 10, 11, 12 days before the elections. There is far more to this story than just some Anthony Weiner emails or a new device. I don't know the details. I'm just throwing out theories. But there is no way in the world you can tell me that the FBI who couldn't throw her in prison with all the information that they had beforehand is all of a sudden opening up this investigation because they just gained a little bit more evidence. I live in a fantasy world, but it ain't that far off. Holy mackerel. That is all for now, guys. If you guys want more videos like this, hit subscribe. I just speak kind of common sense. Not some genius, not some brainiac. I just kind of speak off the top of the head, you know? Try to use that thing called your noggin. If you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up i am so blessed to have you guys watching these videos so blessed for the comments even the people who dislike me the respectful negative comments i absolutely love i, I constantly want critical thinking thank you so much everyone you guys have been absolutely awesome brandon renas signing out peace out